Sup guys, this is an edit from a dive. Uh, me and my twin brother Nick went on out Makara um, and we ended up finding some wadeho, which made the trip pretty exciting. A 15 minute pack walk, uh, it's not too bad. As you can see, the track's nice um, and it was a nice morning. We're gambling the viz a bit because um, it wasn't meant to be the ideal day, but got to be in to win, um, and that's all we did on this dive. Gearing up, getting in. Uh, we were greeted with about 5 metre viz. I took my roller gun um, and I haven't used it for a while so I thought I'd try to plug a butter just to get my aim in. I missed this first one um, as I always seem to shoot high with it um, and then it took me a good few minutes to reload trying to remember all the double wrap and um, open nozzle and how to do it all um, but I thought it'd be better to waste a shot on a butterfish then something that could be a bit more exciting um, and that's why we went to this spot because something more exciting might swim past so as they reload so I'd try another butter get that aim on and get a fish um, in the catch bag the roller gun's an absolute weapon so I can't wait to get better at using it after that we started doing some um, deeper drops so it's about 12 or 13 meters um, but here what I did is I didn't adjust my float line enough, I didn't let enough out um, so I needed to go back up and let some more line out. My brother dropped for no reason and I was, didn't know what he was doing um, so I had a quick watch and then after asking him what he's up to I saw him pulling up a wadeho which got me pretty excited. So I kept live, um, started looking around, did a quick drop uh, straight away, see if I could still find the school. I spotted the school in the distance, but I couldn't um, pull the trigger there too far away. But that's when the trip got exciting. Ha! <laughs> Fucking mean! So it's only my brother's second wadeho ever, I've never shot one. So again, just looking in the water straight away, um, and I see the school coming up to me. So drop, and manage to plug one. It's quite a high shot, um, but at this stage just lucky and stoked to hit it. Never shooting wadeho there, uh, a lot bigger than I thought they would be, um, and a lot more fight and a lot uh, more slime and grime on them as you can see. I definitely stoked with that and it definitely made the trip. <laughs> I just thought you I just thought you dropped for no reason. It's like alright let's try to get back to After a few high fives <laughs> yeah, we decided to um, and start getting way too excited. Just relax and dive again. We yeah, thought, yeah, we better try and relax. Get into some diving again, otherwise we'll just waste some time. It was awesome diving together. Um, again, at a depth of 12 or 13 is a lot deeper than we normally dive, as we always end up doing. Just a classic five to eight meter butterfish, power, crayfish dive. So it was awesome watching each other um, and sharing that experience of shooting the fish, um, because we're actually buddy diving. We wouldn't have, if we weren't buddy diving, we wouldn't have got that, um, those wadeho because I wouldn't have seen um, Nick doing what he's doing um, and I would have missed that school, so I definitely made it a better adventure. Again, targeting something other than just a uh, good feed made these drops quite cool because you're not pulling the trigger on anything, you're actually waiting to see, um, and there's some cod around. And they were shootable, but it was nice just to hold the trigger and not pull it. After a while we decided just to do um, another few drops and just get another butter on board. There's a wadeho, um, looked like a good size for a good feed. And the butterfish were around, and they were big butterfish, but they were being quite skittish, which um, actually turned out to be a bonus for me, because on this drop, they all boosted me, um, but because of that, I was still loaded up 
um, in the school of Waterhouse House on past me again, which you can't quite see, um, but I see them and then quickly turn off the GoPro because I didn't think it was on. Absolute rocking. This time though my shot placement is much better um, and I've actually spined it so it doesn't have any fight to it. I can just uh, pull it in and dispatch it pretty easily and that's my second ever Wadeho and I was stoked, absolutely chaffed. No. Keen to yell out to my brother um, and then have some more chat about it. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, on the rock. Yeah. Well, I think. Oh, no, yeah, on the rock. Yeah, I was. And then I was just like, I'll do a drop. And then I saw them. <laughs> I'm pretty good, bud. Yeah, same. Oh, yeah. So we decide we've got five more minutes of just landing around to yeah. see what happens. Um, because, yeah, a couple decent fish is a good feed. And then he ends up getting another one himself, so the result will round. The weather's started to pack it in a little bit, and then there's plenty of times for some average yarns all the way home, talking about how blessed we are and how stoked we are that we actually made the mission. Let's go.